part. All right, we're probably going to do this in two parts because the garage is small and I got to do change the lighting. So this is looking, and you're going to have to bear with me or trust me on. Well, you already saw the pictures. There's good pictures of the the rear end. I can't get to it with the door or the light, but let's go across here. This gives us a, a fair view of the body. Main key points everybody wants to know about is rust, and there is very zero. <laughs> oh, this is a clean damn car. Okay, let's see if we can get enough light on those tires. Got bottle caps that have paint chipping, but you take them all off and clean them. Setters. Rear window is perfect. Got your standard. I've never seen one of these that this wasn't cracked and or discolored. Roof line, I'm going to get that from the other angle because you can see, well maybe you can see it here. That's uh, not perfect, but, and actually that looks like it might rub out a little bit, I don't know, hard to say. <laughs> you can get really tasteless and put a vinyl roof on it. <laughs> um, that's dirt, that is a little bit of a dent there, just a flat kind of spot there. But there is fender flaw. This is a uh, that'll rub out. That's residual from fire extinguisher. That's the dent in the fender. Um, not really that bad, right, Cruz? Yes, right. Okay, another tire. Um, that's mud, but they're, they're decent tires. Got all four center caps. Okay, windshield. Uh, one little, <laughs> I don't know why that has to happen. Directly in front of the driver. One little fish eye. Um, can't really see it. There it is. But other than that, that looks pretty damn good. Um, these two windows. Let's go ahead and get the. Oh, here it is. Trunk lid is perfect. Um, that's a little bit of a scrape, but it's not a dent. Turn signal's missing. Or, I mean, radio antenna. Um, another tire looks as good as the last one. Um, A little bit of a crinkle there, and there. Um, which are flat ones and they'll probably pound out with a fist. Um, okay, interior. Door panel back there is fine. The door panel got some tears in the seats. The one seat only, they're stock seats, so nothing with the sport seats. I believe these are power windows. Okay, we will look here. Sunroof closes, and the thing had been parked outside for a really long time when I picked it up, and it was not leaking at all that I could tell. Anyway, I have no idea the status of the electrical stuff. It reads 231,850 miles. Doesn't look like too terribly much has been procured from the inside. Um, one little dash crack there. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to come back in with a better light on the interior. <coughs> but back seat looks decent. Center console's right there. It's five speed. The stick is missing from the shifter. Let's see, that seat looks pretty damn good. Headliner. I'm going to come back to my chair in just a second. Let's get to the engine part, since I have the light out here. What we have was a fire. Now, um, 
I'd have to check. The butt grill is right there, and it's fine. And I think the headlights are on. I think it might have melted right there for this one half of the headlight grill. But And this is glass. I think that didn't hurt the bumper a bit. Front valence is missing. Um, but body and hood is right here. It's got the same kind of a little bit of uh, burns. That's kind of the worst one right there. But other than that, one little scratch. Other than that, I think that'd rub out. Not too bad. Um, the fire was mostly right there. A fuel line came off. Okay. So all of your wires, and they have to be E. And I found out that the Basically, I'm looking at a lot more work to uh, to put the E-engine into my eye, so that's why I'm kind of aborting this project. Uh, power steering pump, intact and fine. Power brake pump down there. Oh, I'm sorry, that's air conditioner. Um, power brake pump, fine. It did not get turned over, if I am correct about it. Um, I haven't tried turning it over because the timing belt was a little bit melted. In fact, ah, don't worry about the engine. I'm taking the engine. But give you the intakes and all that stuff if you want. This is where most of your problem is with the melted peripherals, but if you get back to the source of each of the wires, they're fine. So, so it's basically the six inches from the engine is what was burned. I haven't tried the starter or anything yet. Um, I'm pulling the engine and tranny out intact, so it'll be a blank hole. But if you got a car, an E, that you can backtrack each of these, just basically take the tips off of yours and backtrack them to clean wires and go to them here. Um, I will mark them all. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just try to move this. Um, Oh, there's the roof. Yeah, you can see kind of the the roof line's got some weathering on it. Trunk lid looks great. And if you're short, the roof looks great. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to open this up, put a light in here, and then we'll do a little quickie interior. And I haven't even looked at the interior that well myself, so. a Mobeta spot like that. Come in here and look at the interior again. And that seat's got some tears, nothing. Hey, um, sheepskin wouldn't cure. Uh, some wires dangling, but it didn't look like they severed anything. Um, and I wanted to look and see if the brain's here, and it looks like it is. So yeah, we're not too bad. Glove box is gone. Um, black interior. Um, but not too bad. Uh, or it's not black, it's gray, kind of. And I think it might look brown in this video, but it's not. It's, it's gray. Gray and black. That's the other door panel. The seat looks fine. Like it had negligible sit in mint. Um, bottom looks good. Um, yeah. And not bad. Side panels. Boy. Pretty tidy interior. And I don't know if we can see it, but the headliner. Yeah, you can see it. Headline looks perfect, jeez. Yeah, a lot of potential on this car, man. Um, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm rethinking my thinking here because the engine's not doing what I need. Well, parts of it, the bottom end, the block only, which means the rest of it will be available to somebody. Should be. 
restoration. Uh, top lid and everything looks pretty damn tidy back here. Um, the pictures, the picture that I have in the, uh, if you don't have it, I'll send it to you, their quality picture of it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely got a lot of potential. It's a sweet little car. I'd like to see it get done. Because, uh, I've seen a couple of these go to the crusher and uh, complete, I mean, you know, with things like the $160 uh, control sensor or crank position sensor and stuff. So Anyway, that's almost 11 seconds or 11 minutes, so I'll post this to YouTube and feel free to give the link to your friends and have them email me.